Ever wondered how much it costs to raise capital for your business? Well, it's not as straightforward as you might think. Raising capital is a vital yet complex process for businesses of all sizes. It's like walking through a labyrinth. There are multiple paths to explore, each with its own set of challenges. Understanding the costs associated with raising capital is essential. While it may seem like a daunting task, having a clear comprehension of these costs could be the difference between your business scaling new heights or hitting a financial roadblock. You see, capital raising isn't just about securing funds. It's about creating strategies, navigating regulations and managing relationships. It's a journey with costs that extend beyond the monetary value. These costs can be time, effort and even opportunities lost or gained. So let's demystify this journey, shall we? Today, we will break down the costs involved in raising capital. Before diving into the costs, it's crucial to understand what capital raising entails. Capital raising at its core is the process by which businesses source funds. These funds are the lifeblood of any company. They finance day-to-day -day operations, fuel growth, and are often the key to unlocking new opportunities. Now, where does this capital come from? Well, it can come from a variety of sources. It might come from an initial public offering where shares of the company are sold to the public. It could come from a loan from a bank or other financial institution, or it might come from private investors who provide the capital in exchange for a stake in the company. Each of these sources has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, and it's up to the company to decide which route is the best fit for their needs and goals. Now that we have understood what capital raising is, we can delve into its costs. Capital raising costs can be categorized into two major components. Let's delve a little deeper into what these components are, shall we? First, we have direct costs. These are the expenses that you can clearly see and calculate. They're the bills you have to pay to professionals who help you navigate the capital raising process. Think of it as hiring a team of experts who know the ropes. Your direct costs will often include fees for lawyers who ensure everything is above board and legally sound, accountants who crunch the numbers and keep your financial statements in check, and let's not forget investment bankers who help structure your deal and find potential investors. These are the people who make sure your capital raising journey is as smooth as possible. Now onto the second component, indirect costs. These aren't as easy to quantify, but they're just as real. Indirect costs include opportunity costs, which represent the potential benefits you miss out on when choosing one alternative over another. And then there's the potential dilution of ownership. Raising capital often means bringing in new investors and that can lead to your ownership stake in the business being reduced. So there you have it, the two major components of capital raising costs, direct and indirect. Both can have a significant impact on your business and its bottom line. Knowing these components is the first step towards understanding how much you're really spending on raising capital. Why does it matter to minimize these costs? Well, let's paint a picture. Imagine you're filling a bucket with water, but there's a hole at the bottom. The water in this case represents your capital. The bucket symbolizes your business and the hole? That's your capital raising costs. The larger the hole, the more water you lose. High capital raising costs essentially reduce the amount of capital available for business operations and growth. Therefore, minimizing costs is key to maximizing the benefits of capital raising. To sum up, raising capital comes with its own costs. It's a necessary investment, a stepping stone towards your business's growth and expansion. But, like any investment, it requires thought, planning, and a keen understanding of the various components involved. From underwriting and legal fees to the costs associated with marketing and investor relations, these components form the financial backbone of capital raising. And each one, if not managed effectively, can become a drain on your resources. That's why it's crucial to not just understand these costs, but to actively seek ways to minimize them. Be it through negotiation, cost-effective marketing strategies, or selecting the right kind of capital for your business, there are numerous ways to reduce the financial burden of raising capital. Remember, a well-thought-out capital-raising strategy can not only raise funds for your business, but also save you money in the process.